Hi everyone, again this is Mahesh, uh, and in this video, you are going to see why we are using get ch in the program. At the termination of the program, we are using get ch, right? The command. So, this is why. Why we are using this one? Purpose. What is the purpose of using get ch? So without get get ch, what an error occurred? Okay. So let's see with using get ch or without using get ch. Okay. So let's see an example using the turbo c for better understanding purpose. Okay. So I already did some program here. This, this is again just a, an adding addition of two numbers so print f enter two numbers it will scan and read so it will do the operation of addition and it will print so let's see what it will do so is there any errors or not you need to check control plus f9 right so no errors no warnings okay so you need to run control plus f9 okay first of all here we need to know about get ch or the operation what is that operation without get ch output won't appear okay output won't appear in a sense with get ch output will appear for some time with get ch output will appear so let's see how it will look like so here enter two numbers i am entering some values for addition so 3 plus 5 in a sense what 8 i am doing i did enter but it won't show any value but here if i place get ch and doing controller saving and again checking for is there any errors or not no errors i am going to run this program and again same value so i am 3 plus 5 okay so it should right 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 so what you have just understood why you use get ch get ch the purpose of get ch is to show the value for some time without get ch it won't show it show but in a milliseconds it will show we can't see that much of speed okay so for that we are using get ch at the termination of the program okay so got the got uh, uh, the meaning for the get ch so in the next video you are going to see more and more regarding the c language the functions the structures whatever the remaining uh, pro uh, the remaining topics you will see okay thank you